good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic Mod I Am Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I am very excited to finally bring you a brand new All Elite Wrestling AEW Unrivaled Collection review. And it's not on Series 2, right? I mean, we completely took a damn frog hop, frog leap over Series 2, guys. And we are diving into Series number 3. I got my set from Ringside Collectibles yesterday. I didn't even get a shipping notification. They just showed up on my door. And I was like, what the hell is this? And bam, shocked the hell out of me. Go check out the unboxing where we got it because it, it, it's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. But today, guys, we're diving into two of the most anticipated figures since the creation of these AEW figures. We have Orange Cassidy, freshly squeezed, one of my favorite talents on AEW, and Darby Allen, one of those that just shocked the hell out of me the first time I saw this guy wrestle. So, I'm excited, man. I think we got two epic figures right here. I can't wait to unbox them, see what they're all about, how they compare to the Series 1 and all of that good-ish. I think my Series 2 is actually arriving tomorrow when you guys are seeing this, so we're going to have tons of AEW Unrivaled Collection reviews coming, so be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell so you don't miss any of those, because I know a lot of you have been waiting on the Series 2, but here's the front viewing window, got the thumbs up, got the skateboard for Darby Allen. same standard packaging that we got with Elite Series 1, all Elite Series 1. Spinning it to the right, guys, you got your same standard AEW, you got, uh, you know, numbers 21 and 22 right here. On the back, you get freshly squeezed, you get Darby Allen. their sick-ass signatures right there. You have the rest of the figures in the wave. It looks like this attire is from Dynamite, and this attire is from Fighter Fest for Darby Allen. As we spin to the right, another AEW logo, and then on the front, you do get nice images of the two men right there in the ring gear that they're wearing in the figure, so that's pretty nice as well, but if you guys would like to grab these, you can pre-order them. They are not available right now, I don't think, on Ringside Collectibles, but you can pre-order them at WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when pre-ordering, and I would go ahead and just pre-order the full set. You'd get $15 off or so using the promo code and then you could also end up getting a chase variant version so there's the uh, odds on that who, who knows but i can't wait any longer guys let's shut the hell up and dive into orange cassidy and darby allen and crack these hoes out of their packaging Alright guys, so here is Orange Cassidy and Darby Allen out of the packaging. Very, very interesting stuff going on with both of these guys, and I cannot wait to get into it with you guys, because I think you're going to get a kick out of it. It's very interesting. I've never seen anything like this before, and you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about, but let's dive into Darby Allen's accessories first, and then Darby Allen. Then we will run it back and take a closer look at Orange Cassidy's accessories and freshly squeezed himself. So let's go ahead and hit it. So getting into Darby Allen's accessories, guys, starting out first with his entrance coat or entrance vest or entrance jacket, whatever you want to call it. It is this soft material. You can see the zippers painted. You got some nice white spray paint designs going on. You got the heart on the back there and everything. Nice hood on it. It does not go up. It is rubber, but it's like a soft rubber. It comes off the figure actually really, really well. It fits the figure really well. You guys saw it in the packaging. I removed it to see exactly the articulation and things of the movement of the Darby Allen, but this jacket's not bad. What's However, I'm not a fan of rubber jackets. I'd much rather have a cloth one or interchange like another figure's jacket or something to move it around, but I still like it. It's it's okay. It's just a rubber accessory, so that is kind of bummerific, but you know, it does slide off. It's not super stiff and stuff. It is easily removable, so that is good. And then you do have Darby Allen's skateboard accessory that he comes to the ring with. So you got on the bottom of the deck, it does say Darby Allen there. It's got some nice roughed up stuff here. It's got some good texturing on it as well, like it's an old skateboard or something. It is a little bit flimsy. It's not stiff like a tech deck like this. Like if you like barely pushed, it probably would snap in half. Not like barely, but you know what I'm saying? I could easily snap in half if I wanted to. You got the trucks on there with the nice silver paint. At first, I didn't thought they, you know, I didn't think they spun, but uh, I, I feel like I talked to somebody and they told me that the Darby Allen skateboard didn't roll like a tech deck, which is obviously not true because it does roll right here and we can hit, you know, we can hit a little, it doesn't have any grip tape on the top, but you know, we can, we can do a little stuff, you know, on the top of the grip grip tape. This is kind of, you know, it is what it is. It's not a huge deal, but just a little detail. It is missing the four screws that would go on the top of the trucks, and then you do have the grip tape that's falling off right there, and you got the wood deck underneath. I mean, it's got some good details and stuff right here. That's pretty good with the sculpt right there. I just wish this had, like, the tech deck grip would have been really cool, or the screws on the top of the deck would have been really cool, but you got the yellow wheels. They do roll and everything, and, you know, you don't see any bearings or anything like that. Like, even, like, small screws or anything like that would have probably made this 
just, you know, the details a little bit better, but you could easily just use a tech deck. I couldn't find mine. You guys know I use, in my older videos, I used to do use a tech deck and stuff. For some reason, for like a week, I got into hardcore into tech deck, so I bought a set, and I, I got, you know, like, used to play with them, so you guys saw the little trick there, but yeah, there's Darby Allen's skateboard. It's a pretty cool accessory, but I think I, I, I may, I don't know, I may use this, I may use a tech deck, I, I don't know. Anyways, that does it for Darby Allen's accessories, guys. Let's get into Darby Allen himself. So on to Darby Allen himself, guys. Getting into the head sculpt, you got the signature face paint on here. I think the likeness to Darby Allen is there. I think it definitely looks like him. I like it a lot. I like the hair fade going on. Let's go ahead and get a zoom in shot. So of course you do have the half skull painted onto his face. You know that's part of his gimmick. He likes turtles. You got the nice gradient of the hair of the shave going down the sides. You got the blonde hair. You got the likeness there. He kind of, I don't know. I, I think it looks just like him. I think they did a really good job on here. You got the paint going down the neck. You got the necklace right there, which is a nice touch. You have his tattoo that says nothing's over till you're underground. Very nice all the way around. I really like it. Everything like that. He can look down all the way. He can look up pretty good as well. You got the paint going under the neck right there, which is a nice touch. Going down to the torso, this is a, I think every single AEW figure has its own unique torso. I could be wrong about that, but I, th I think that's a thing. This may be the Orange Cassidy torso. We'll have to see about that, but it looks good. I like the way it looks. Skin tone looks really nice. You got his white wrist tape. He does actually have his fingernail polish on there in gray. Same standard AEW, you know, soft rubber down here so that it allows for good articulation. Double jointed arms, which are just such a, mwah, just freaking beautiful. You got his gray wash and black shorts down here, which are nice. You got the upper thigh cut right there at the bottom of the shorts. Solid black leggings or, or whatever the hell you want. I guess you'd call them tights or leggings underneath. And then you have his nice short black boots here with the yellow line on there, which are really, really nice as well. He's got the good ankle pivot. We'll do a quick little articulation standpoint, but I love the way this figure feels in the hand, man. Like, one of the better AEW fit. Like, it doesn't feel loose at all. It feels really, really good. I think people are going to have a lot of fantastic fun posing this guy around on the shelf, putting him up there, having crazy-ass Darby Allen football matches. So, yeah, man, I'm really digging this so far. So, getting into the articulation, again, guys, he can look down pretty damn good. I'm pretty excited about that. He can look up a pretty good a ways as well. Same pretty much ab deal. Like, he can bend over pretty good. All AEW figures can bend over pretty damn good because of that, you know, that soft lower rubber there. He can diaphragm move here. He can do the tilt seize there. He's got the 360 all the way around. You do get the bicep swivel. You got the ratchet joints in the shoulder so they don't get loose. You get the double jointed arms or he can, you know, drink a Coke. He can talk on the microphone. He can poop in his hand and fart in bags. I mean, all that looks good. Solid waist swivel. You guys know if you twist it too far, his torso will come attached. He's on ball joints so he can do the split seize, which is really nice to see. You get the upper thigh cut. You get the double jointed knees, which are beautiful. You get the boot rotation and you get ankle pivot. So tons of articulation on the Darby Allen. Any pose you want to get him in, he can definitely get in it, man. This is a phenomenal piece and you guys are not going to want to miss out on this. But that does it for our Darby Allen articulation. And then for our Darby Allen figure comparisons, you got the uh, UK exclusive Cody Rhodes here with the ring and then you have the AEW and Rival Collection Series 1 Kenny Omega right there. So there's your height comparison and everything. I think they look great up next to each other. I think their sizes are pretty good. I would love to see some just standard pick fed matches between all of these you know these, these AEW figures man they just are so great they're fun to look at they're fun to pose around skin tones look really good I enjoy them a lot but that does it for your Darby Allen figure comparisons so for freshly squeezed accessories guys getting into it we do get quite amount of interchangeable hands I went ahead and popped them out of the figure so we'd get them all here as you guys can see he does come with his signature sunglasses he's got the gold glasses with the black frames or whatever you want to call those so those look good nothing two going on with that. In real life, I think these glasses are more of like a gradient or like a dark, clear, smoky gradient than just solid black, but it's not a big deal. I like the way they look. I like the gold color. They fit the head sculpt well, so I'm not complaining about that. And then he also comes with interchangeable hands. So the first pair of interchangeable hands that we have, guys, are mic holding hands or, you know, grappling hands right there. So it's just your, your standard hands right there. You also get pocket hands or hands in the pocket hands. So what you do is pop these in. I'll, I'll go over this either on the figure review part where we get into the figure itself or the articulation standpoint, but you'll pop these in there and they slide down into the pockets of the figure. So you got the end pocket hands and then you got the signature Orange Cassidy half-assed thumbs up hand, which is nice. You love that, love that. It's on the right hand there. So, you know, you just freaking write that. That's perfect. Nailed it. And then a very interesting choice right here. You guys saw that a long time ago we got the promo images, but the Orange Cassidy cloth jean jacket and t-shirt is actually in one fluid motion. So the on this side, the, the figure is stitched together right 
right there. The, fit, the you know the shirt and the jacket are stitched together. It's got his beautiful mug on there in white, and then you have the jean, like light jean color from the 90s is what it reminds me of. And the sculpt, not the sculpt, but the stitching's very nice. You got pockets on there. It's got all these things going on. The collar looks good and everything. And then if you wanted to put this on the figure, you'd slide the arms on there, and then you would just stick the, uh, you know, the Velcro right there. And the reason I'm guessing they didn't give us a regular shirt and then a jacket separately, I'm guessing is because they didn't want it to be too thick on the figure, you know? They didn't want it to be really, really thick. They wanted to remain that thinness and not have too much cloth on there so it didn't look clunky. It would, you know, go on there nice and look really good aesthetically. So that is what I'm guessing, but this is really nice, man. I love the material and everything. They did a really good job on this, and the ingenuity of it is really nice. So hats off to Jazz Wears Jeremy and the whole team right there. That looks great, but I am digging Orange Cassidy's accessories a lot, guys. So let's dive into Cassidy himself. So getting into freshly squeezed, guys, I went ahead and did the pocket hand so that we can showcase the pocket feature that this figure comes with. Now, getting into the head sculpt, honestly, this head sculpt, I think the lightness is totally there. I think it looks just like him, to be honest with you. But the bags under the eyes are what's kind of killing it for me. Like, I feel like he's aged horribly. Like, the, the wrinkles on the cheeks there and then under the eyes, the little dips. I might be able to fix that. I don't know how much I'll be able to fix that. And I'll pull up an actor or a guy that I know that looks like this guy. And you guys can tell me if that looks just like him, especially with the bags under the eyes and stuff. But I think it does definitely resemble Orange Cassidy. I definitely see Orange Cassidy in this figure and stuff. I like the head sculpt. I just think that those bags and then those wrinkles beside his nose and everything, he just aged a little bit. But if you put the sunglasses on him like Orange Cassidy usually does, I mean, it looks just like him. I mean, there's it's uncanny. It looks just like him. I like the hair sculpt and everything. Kind of reminds me of Heath Slater a little bit there. But I guess when you just leave the glasses on there. But going down into the torso, I'm pretty sure this is the same torso we just saw for Darby Allen. And we can compare them here. Ah, uh, I mean, they look pretty damn identical. They could be a little different, but they're, I think they're pretty much the damn same without the tattoos and paint and the skin tone's a little bit different. So, you love to see that. I think this is the right, you know, torso for him. He's a very lean, skinny guy. So, that looks good to me. I like the ratchet joints you got going on there. Not too tight. They're not loose though, so that's really good. You got the double jointed arms here. We do have the pocket hands on there, so that's great. Now, this is where the technology gets crazy, man. This right here, I've never seen anything like this. So, you guys know with normal AEW figures, you usually have like your crotch piece and then your upper thigh cut and stuff. So, what they've done here is they've basically created like this soft silicone soft rubber that uh, can articulate a little bit and it's not going, it like flexes with the figure. It's like these shorts that go over the plastic pieces. So, you do get some cut here, but you can turn the thigh a little bit, but you guys can see it kind of like gets hindered like that and we'll get into the articulation a little bit, but you guys can see the slits right here for the pockets. Now, they're not the most attractive thing ever from far out, but I don't think they look bad by any means, but what you will do is you will literally bend his arm and then shove his hands down into these pockets right here and so you would shove that down in there and bam. So, there you go. You would slide the arms down into or the hands down into the pockets right there and then you could do all your Orange Cassidy stuff. I, one thing I'm really loving about this though, like I, I think that's fantastic. I think all the stripes on the side, like the sculpt is immaculate. It looks just like the Orange Cassidy, you know, jogger slash pants he wears, even the stripes on the side. And then you have the black knee pads underneath, the rips in the jeans, and the sculpt on these look great. I love the stacked look right here, like the skinny stack jogger look right there with all the wrinkles and stuff. Looks immaculate. I think they did a killer job on that. Again, you do get upper knee rotation right here that gives you an extra little bit of articulation. And then the shoes are one of one. They look just like Orange Cassidy shoes and even the cuffs right here are sculpted and that is where the rotation is so it's very well hidden and you even get the ankle pivot and stuff and it goes down and up. So, I mean, this is a standout figure, man. I think the, the, the technology that they use and everything, that was really genius right there. I will say that I wish there was a way to interchange it, you know, like a way to have the upper thigh cut and everything like that and then put something on here that would allow for the pocket feature or something but nonetheless, I still like it. I like the way they went. I like that we're able to put the hands in the pockets over not being able to, so I think that is really excellent. But let's go ahead and get into the articulation of the figure. So you guys already see the double-jointed arms in effect there, and it's the same standard torso and everything like that. He can look down pretty good, just like Darby Allen as far as the head is concerned on the articulation. So doing the splits, it is a little bit hindered. Like, he can't go all the way out because it hugs, you know. Kicking forward, he can kick forward pretty good. Like, it's a very pliable material. Like, he can easily do it. It just won't stay for very long, but it's not like the Mattel Rey Mysterio where it like feels like it's going to break. Like it feels very easy and it doesn't feel like it's going to break and he can still kick forward pretty 
good. He can do his, you know, his kicks that he does where he, you know, he, oh, 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 oh. So that's pretty good as well. Again, you do get the, the knee rotation. You get the double jointed knees there. You also get the boot rotation. You get the ankle pivot and everything. I don't know, man. I still really love it. Like, now, would it be awesome to see him be able to just, you know, stay there? Yes. And honestly, I mean, I may get more of this to, like, experiment a little bit with it just to see how much you can do with it and how far you can stretch it and, you know, articulation and stuff like this. But you guys can see here, like, you can absolutely grab this and tear it if you wanted to. I wouldn't recommend it, but it is possible. Possible, but I'm really having a lot of fun posing this guy around, man. Orange Cassidy is super entertaining, and uh, yeah, I, I just I just love the way this figure moves around, bro. Really, really good stuff. So for your Orange Cassidy figure comparisons, guys, here is my custom elite Orange Cassidy with the custom jean jacket, t-shirt, pants, the shoes, and everything. You guys can clearly see the inspiration right there. I thought it was a pretty good placeholder until we got the official, but I'm just super glad to have the official now, man. It, it's really ridiculous that we finally have it in hand. Here is Cody and Kenny up next to Orange Cassidy as well. And I'm just loving it, man. You can even get Darby Allen in there if you want. Here's a little height comparison between those two. And yeah, bro, I mean, just having all these different AEW figures is insane, man. I'm, I'm having a ton of fun with this. But I think that is pretty much going to do it for the 2-in-1 AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 3 Orange Cassidy and Darby Allen figure reviews, man. Overall, I could not recommend these more, man. If you see these at retail or you have a chance to get them online for a good price or you pre-order them from ringside, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Highly recommend it on, on both of them, man. I like them a lot. They're really fun. You're going to get a ton of fun out of them, man. They just feel so solid. I think this line is going to continue to get better from here. Just the experience, you know, we're learning with the distribution and the skin tones are better. The figures just feel really awesome in the hand and the technology that we got going on with these, the accessories, the likeness, and the talents that both of these guys are. 100 out of 100%, man. Definitely grab these if you have the opportunity. So again, I could not recommend these enough, guys, but if you would like to get them, go pre-order them from Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS. So this comment is going to go to Prince Seb. He says, Darby Allen review tomorrow morning on my birthday. Heck yeah, Brad. Sounds like a great birthday gift. Well, happy birthday birthday, Brad, because we just did the review and a happy birthday to Prince Seb again for the review and the comment. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys would like a future shout out in a future video, definitely leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell, and leave me a like as well, and you could earn yourself a future shout out in a video, and I would really, really appreciate it. But again, guys, love these figures. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10. If I ever see these at Reef Tail, I'm just going to automatically buy them. Probably not right now because of the distribution, but in the future, Future, you know, who knows? I don't want to, you know, it can't be grabbing up every damn thing. I want some people to have these as well. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, My Damn Toys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And do Orange Cassidy a favor and not cross the line. But guys, seriously though, don't ever cross the line. Just kidding. It's a good, you know, it's a good heartfelt review. Go ahead, cross the line. Should be all right. I'm just kidding, what are you doing? Are you insane? You crossed the line, I've been